I wanted to support the whole Occupy Wall Street movement and I feel like that was a good start. And I feel like if I'm um, holding a space that's filled with safety for them, that's one of my biggest concerns is safety for everybody who's, who's joined the movement. So I can put out um, some safety vibes for them and hopefully uh, they won't get pepper sprayed, <laughs> won't get beat up or because I think more than anything else, the Occupy Wall Street is giving people the um, permission or giving people permission to give themselves permission to be heard and seen. Thought, I feel more powerful going within and sending energy and love and support out than driving up to Portland once and you know standing there and rallying so I thought that's something I could do locally that's something I could do globally I felt I could send energy to everybody in gratitude for all the occupiers that are out there that are brave enough to sleep in the cold streets and and do what they're doing so I felt that that was something that I could take forward and support the day before Occupy Wall Street began, I was having a conversation with my sister. She's very knowledgeable about politics. She reads all the books. She's, you know, very um, so articulate, and, and I often just gripe. And then she gives me facts about who's doing what and what they're not doing. And I was griping that day about, you know what the problem is? We're lazy. These Americans in this country, us, we're lazy and we're comfortable. And we're sitting comfortable and we're not doing anything about the economy truly we're not doing enough and she was agreeing with that and so we were talking about that and the next day she called and she said guess what I said what she said we're doing something about it it's called Occupy <laughs> Wall Street it is just started today and when I saw that I was so impressed and I'm so grateful to the people that got this together and I am so impressed the way they're doing it with consensus it's really for me um, a chance to bear witness to uh, my uh, to the movement and support it just by just by being public and being present in it. Uh, organizing is good and organizing can be methodical and systematic mm -hmm. and yet it is by our own hearts that people are called to this and people come to this. It is by people's hearts that people have come to to uh, occupy Portland. Mm -hmm. um, people I know who said I just, I have to be there. Mm -hmm. And it's not because of some manifesto or some uh, um, plan that they have to be there. It's not, there is, <laughs> the only plan is, is that uh, they've been called. So that's the organic aspect of it for me. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. It's, uh, it just keeps building. Following the policies that we're given. So it's... it's Can you and when the Occupy movement got started, I wanted to support them. And the flash mob meditation group fits my ideology and that other aspect of uh, supporting change. And, and, to have, right. and to have this much energy and this much action, and to have it so dedicatedly positive yeah. and inclusive and piece. You know, for change, I just, you know, they're not, you know, they're very dedicated about, like, this is nonviolent. This is made, you know, so this is, I'm, I'm just jumping up and down. And, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's reaching, a, it's, it's cross-generational. Uh, not, yeah. It's not the only one that's cross-generational in terms of but peace movements and stuff. But it's prim par primarily the, the next generation, you yeah. know, it's not our generation. Yeah.